Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. Today I've got what I thought was simply a mythical item. I never realised it was actually real until I spotted it in a shop I was in the other day. I was in Paisley. Don't ask me why. Oh, I was at a market. I've got some nice cakes there though. It's, uh, they do have a market I think every Sunday or maybe every other Sunday or something. And uh, we got some nice cakes and some pies and uh, those are really good. But I'm not reviewing any of that on here today. Anyway, I'm rambling. But uh, yeah, we went into a wee sweetie shop to see what they had. I got a few things that I'm going to review on here. But then I picked up this. I saw this and I immediately knew I had to get it because I thought it was made up. You know, I, I've never thought it was real. My friend Dan told me about this and he's Irish. He says that you get it in Ireland. Um, I've never seen it before. I figured... It's been years, and but there it is. It is Tato cheese and onion chocolate. So that sounds absolutely revolting, doesn't it? But I'm guarantee I'm probably gonna like this. Yeah, you know, I'm the kid that used to eat his crisps and then eat the chocolate straight after, so you eat be eating both at the same time. You know that was me growing up. Uh, loved it. So yeah, this is Tato cheese and onion chocolate with real crisp pieces. So it's basically chocolate with crisps through it which i mean on this on this on the surface of it that doesn't sound so bad you know if you try um like a crunch bar that's got rice krispies through it you know ready salted crisps sounds like it would be quite nice because it's salt something crispy and then the chocolate right of course this is cheese and onion so it might be revolting it might be quite nice i guess we'll find out uh, i imagine that uh, my tastes are probably different than some people because i pretty much like everything um except from the odd thing that i've tried on here and if you if you know you know which ones i hate so milk chocolate bar with real tato cheese and onion crisp pieces castle cooked since 1956 they make their crisps in a castle that's cool share your tato chocolate picks with us yeah i might do that actually hashtag tato happy Put this video up there, um, see how they react to it. Suitable for vegetarians. Store in a cool, dry place once opened. Consume immediately. Right, right, right. Well, there's all your ingredients, I suppose, uh, if you want to read those. It's got a best before 1st of March 2023, so it's still got quite a long time left. I guess we should read all the, um, uh, what do you call it, energy, all that sort of stuff. So um, how big is this bar? It's a 50 gram bar. Typical nutritional values per 100 grams. So we'll just, we'll divide everything by two, then that's what's in this bar, right? So energy, that would be about 225 calories, which is about normal for a chocolate bar, I'd say. Uh, fat, that's going to end up being just uh, about, just over 16, almost 17 grams of fat, uh, of which actually it's 10.1 grams of that is your saturates, just in that bar. That is a lot of saturated fat. Uh, so that's pretty bad. 53.1 grams of carbs. So that's like 27 grams of carbs just about. Um, uh, about 25 of that sugar. So again, that's really high. Uh, protein, 3.3 grams of protein it would be. Then 0 0.1 grams of salt. So not bad on the salt side of things, but that's really fatty, even for chocolate. So better be nice. Uh, cool. I don't suppose there's anything else we can read on this. No. Guess we just have to bust it open and have a look at it. And the chocolate itself looks quite plain. It doesn't look like there's going to be a design on it or anything, but I guess we'll find out. Let's break this bad boy open. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've heard about this before. A friend told me about it. I didn't believe him. I didn't believe it was real. Even try, He said he tried to get me some, couldn't find it. So it might be a bit scarce in Ireland, or maybe only get it in certain bits of Ireland now. I don't know. don't know how popular it is. But there it is. There's the back, and there's the front. Pretty straightforward. Um, it doesn't even look like good chocolate, does it? It looks like cheap chocolate. <coughs> I have to say, it smells like cheap chocolate as well. It smells like advent calendar chocolate. Try to see if you can smell the cheese and onion. Mm, not really. Well, there it is. Pretty standard looking chocolate bar. I guess it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see if we can break open a bit. See if you can see the crisps inside. Mm. Not so much. Alright. Let's do it then. So this is Tato. Cheese and onion chocolate. Real crisp pieces. Let's give it the old taste test, shall we?
Hmm. Can't really taste the cheese and onion crisps. It tastes like, okay, so there's, there's chocolate. It tastes like reasonably cheap chocolate, right? It's not good chocolate at all. I mean, I wouldn't say it's terrible or anything, but it's not good chocolate. There's an ever so slight hint of saltiness, but ever so slight, like barely salty at all. You get the odd tiny little bit of crisp. Like a wee crunch. But that's it. I mean, I think maybe there's a slight aftertaste of cheese and onion. But it's so minuscule that I'm wondering, is it really there? Or am I just imagining it because I want this to be real? So yeah, disappointing. As far as gimmicks go, I'm all for a gimmicky chocolate bar or a gimmicky sweet or gimmicky whatever, because I'll try it at least once. And sometimes, sometimes they're a banger. You know, sometimes they are great. But as far as this goes, it's not trying hard enough. It's you can definitely tell that there's something in there, and it, I can definitely kind of tell it's crisps. But the fact that it's cheese and onion crisps. Mm, not really. I mean, if you if you look at the cross section, you can't really even see the crunchy bits. There's maybe maybe that's a crunchy bit there. Don't know. It's hard to tell. So there's so little crispiness in there that it, it's not even worth worth it. I mean, I, I would say in that whole bar, there's less than a single crisp, which is rubbish. You know, I was I was expecting to have like crisps laced through it, like loads really crispy, but it's not at all. It basically just tastes like cheap chocolate, and every now and then you get a little. Oh, look, there's some salt. Oh, there's a wee crisp. There's a wee crunch. So, yeah. Better really disappointed by that. I mean, whether I wasn't expecting to like it or not is a different matter, but I'm just disappointed that it doesn't doesn't really deliver on any of the promise, any of the, um, the myths surrounding it. You barely tell it's got crisp through it. Poor. Yeah, it just tastes like cheap chocolate. So, yeah, disappointed in that one. You know what? Tato crisps are actually really nice. Uh, but yeah, maybe eat that with a bag of Tato crisps and it might actually give you the flavour that you're supposed to get. But yeah, that's a bit pointless. Well, that'll do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications. Go down into the description and go onto my TikTok because I've got a lot of videos on there that are different from on here. And um, yeah, follow me on the socials. Go on the channel, have yourselves a snack tube marathon. Watch all the vids. And uh, hopefully you guys will come back for the next review. I'll see you then. Cheers.